Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Alan Wake. In the last episode, I was... The wife fell in the water and then... We got woke up in another nightmare. Now we're gonna push this. Oh. Pfft. Stupid. Okay, we're just gonna go this way. <laughs> I think. Looks really hazardous. Oh, here we go. Ouch. Beyond good and evil style. The yeah, dark man. forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Um. Sorry. <laughs> Fool. What is this? Oh, dude, these manners, many you script uh, pages are hidden in weird places. Oh, I missed many of them. Find this page in nightmare difficulty mode. Oh, so I can't even get them all in the first playthrough anyway. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Wow. He wrote about the, the diner lady. That's crazy. Okay, um... Do not attack me, friends, for I have a flashlight. You're afraid of it, aren't you? What? Why do I keep seeing that creepy lady? What the hell was that? Imagination. You know, nothing to worry about, nothing. Nothing can come of imagination. Right. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Are you afraid of the water there, Mr. Allen? It wasn't too hard now, was it? Um... Dude. I don't even know. <laughs> this is a crazy river. This was really the easiest way to get over there. Couldn't you just follow the road? Come on, man. <laughs> the heck is that? Oh, it's a log. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Cha cha cha, ha cha cha cha. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. He just wants to get away from writing. Jeez, pay attention, Barry. You and your crazy phone calls. Okay, apparently I wasn't supposed to go this way. <laughs> but here we go. Dude! Where'd you go, friend? Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Maybe you should call him Stocky. Haha, <laughs> get it? Get it? Pete? Get what I said? Picking up my double A's. Double A's, double A's. Okay. 
apologize if this camera is like freaking out and making you all dizzy. I'm just like kind of paranoid. <laughs> Stupid. Um. Okay. No, dude, what? Oh, God. Dodge, Alan. This is crazy. Holy smokes. I can't even see. I fell in the water. Oh, my God. It was really bad. Okay. All right. Ooh, second verse, same as the first. Kill one off before I... Battery. That's right, jerk. Nobody beats Alan Wake. Twice. Once is okay. Because that's... That happens, you know? Um... Caution. Proceed at your own risk. Right on. So that's where I gotta go. So let's go the opposite way. Some yellow secrets. Secret splotches. Oh, hello. Climby, climby. What, what kind of flashlight has like an extra bright setting? Just for... Just for disintegrating evil. Apparently this kind. Gonna give me one of these. Taken. They're taken. The taken are filled with darkness. I could have told you that. Um. Ooh. More batteries. Oh yeah. Dude, I have 12 batteries now. They don't stand a chance. That is if I knew what I was doing. It's it's really weird. You have to like reload two different two different weapons. <laughs> I can't keep track of one, let alone two. Okay, let's get down. I said, I said, dude, that was the most fail thing in the in the world. You don't just jump off ladders like that. Okay. I already got that. You don't have to tell me. Where are you, Stucky? The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Wait, is this the same stairway that the light healed in the first? No. Some other way, huh? You're not thinking about climbing on that log, are you, mister? <laughs> Sounds like a terrible plan. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. You mean this? Right, it's not a generator? Jeez. I don't know what anything is. Ooh, a thermos. Oh, goodness. Wake me up. Come on. Yeah. It's a good thermos. How does he carry all these thermoses? He just has like a utility belt like Batman. They can just put all his thermoses on it. Sip sip some coffee. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. All right, With all evil. this forestry equipment around. There had to be something I could use to reach the top. Stop trying to give me hints. I'm still looking around. <laughs> climb it, Alan. Fine. You don't want to climb? Fine. You'll never, you never reach a goal then with that attitude, buddy. Oh no, you don't. Time to reload, there, Alan. We'll go. Dude! Can't be doing that, construction workers. Oh yeah. So they take 
five shots? God. Maybe they only take one headshot, but I'm too bad at this game to do that. <laughs> Aha! Now I can go over there. Easy. Get in this light. I'm gonna go in here really quick. Aha! I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Okay, I definitely did not melt them with my flashlight. Probably should have. I just kind of took it to the face, you know. Nice freaking shotgun. Only two bullets. <laughs> problem dude don't equip the shotgun come on Booker where are you friends nowhere okay good vlog lift oh, I gotta line it up I see <laughs> That ought to do. Oh. Hey, ladder. How convenient. Okay, don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay then. Checkpoint reach. Oh, oh. Hey, look at those cans. I wonder if I can shoot them. Give me bonus points. Um. Oh, these are the stairs. Of course. Okay, let's go. Book it up the hill. Book it up the hill. Checkpoint. Hello? Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you oh. listeners know, I'm a, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Oh, beautiful out there. <laughs> okay, this. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Does he? Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thank you. I'll find you, you dog. Oh, I'll find him. <laughs> Ooh. Secret, secret. I'm glad I don't actually have to look for these secrets. They kind of just appear. <laughs> Flare gun. I'm guessing the flare gun is like a AOE just kill everything if you get in a tough spot. Don't really want to waste it. Did you hear that? I'm 
Hearing strange noises. Manuscript. All right. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Okay, whatever you think there, buddy. They are pretty... strangely descriptive. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Belly Burster is the best with no coat. Monster Dog is second best. The famous dog is... God, they have such a weird voice. Okay, guys. I think I'm actually going to end the episode off here. Um, So, hopefully we can get to the gas station. It's right over there, so... Next episode, I'm going to make a break for it. So yeah, see you guys next time.